For a couple of years now, I've been putting together videos to shine a light on smaller retro gaming channels that could use a boost. I typically try to time this to correlate with a channel milestone, but the last year has been chaotic. I relocated from Oregon to Arizona, leaving me with less time to produce new videos, something I'm hoping to change going forward. Still, promoting other retro gaming channels is rather important to me, and honestly, I don't need a reason beyond the desire to do it. So. Here we are. As you've likely heard me say in the past, there's a problem with retro gaming channels in YouTube. It's hard to find something I'm interested in because the YouTube algorithm is moving more towards major media with every passing month. And it's been that way for some time. In fact, my feed, once full of more videos than I could consume, is often void of anything fresh to watch, and I know I'm not alone. My show is about pursuing personal passions and sharing them with people around the world in an effort to make connections. And you know what? It continues to be an amazing worthwhile journey. I feel incredibly blessed to have the community support behind me and would like to pay that forward by giving back what I can by signal boosting other channels I love. These are channels under 2,000 subscribers that I feel viewers of this channel will also enjoy channels that have a particular focus on retro gaming content that I believe would have a wider audience if only the right exposure came their way. I'll leave links in the description box below, so be sure to stop by and check them out. If you enjoy what you see, I request you do something I never asked for my own channel. Subscribe and hit that bell icon. Also, be sure to drop a comment. Community engagement is critical, and these channels deserve your support. One last thing before I get started, there's a ton of great small channels out there. If you have one or happen to know somebody who does, leave a comment below, tell me a bit about it. I'll try to stop by and visit everyone who does and hope you, the fellow viewer, will take the time to look through them as well. By the way, this list is presented in sub count order, starting with the lowest. With that said, let's jump right into it. This is Retro Impressions, 10 great retro gaming channels under 2000 subscribers. Zylog and Moto, current sub count 133. Dave's channel is kind of unique in many regards. It's a straight up review show with one goal, review every Sega home console game from the Master System to the 32X. So what makes it unique? Well, that's 99.9% .9 all you'll find on his channel. And he's been doing this for a while. Often creators like to dip their toes into other areas, but Dave has stayed the course with essentially the same format. The videos start with what I would call a channel update, then some general history, a look at the game and packing, and ends with a detailed review. I would love to see Dave's channel grow because I enjoy what he does. With that said, I've recommended it a few times to friends and seem to receive the same feedback about the intro segment losing them before the review gets started. I myself really enjoy him, but some folks won't unless they're a bit more invested in the channel itself, and I understand that. So try jumping to the history part or right to the review before giving up on Dave. You'll quickly discover, as I have, that this is a passion project. There's a ton to love regarding what he's doing, especially considering he's not chasing views, hasn't gotten lucky with a viral video, and continues to put out weekly reviews with 124 to choose from as of the writing of the script. So pick a game you like, or better yet, a 32X game, he has a couple there. Sit back and enjoy what he does. Video Game Docs, current sub count, 228. When I first find a new channel that does documentary style content, I look for a video covering a topic I know in depth. As long as the facts are mostly correct and the video is well presented, I'll stick around for more. Video Game Docs appears to fit this bill. It's fairly new, and I can't really tell you much about them because there's no real front to the channel at this time, but it does appear to be a group of friends putting these together. I think there's some potential here, and look forward to watching where this group and this idea goes. Dudley of Yesterzine, current sub count 694. This is an absolute gem of a channel. The key focus is the Yesterzine series, where he goes through a magazine revisiting the games reviewed, and essentially deep dives into each game. He discusses the game, sometimes a bit of history, and revisits the issue or praise given while determining if it's valid 
or a product of that era. It's a fantastic idea, and I can't imagine anyone executing this any better than it's done here. There are some other excellent series and a must-watch multi-part documentary on DSi. What's DSi? Exactly. It's one of the largest game developers out there, and you haven't a clue who they are. That's also the reason you should watch it ASAP. This is an excellent channel that almost everyone watching this video will enjoy. Seriously, go and subscribe now, then thank me later. Retroactive, current sub count 781. I certainly feel all these channels should receive more love and subscribers than they have. However, Retroactive is criminally underrated. If I could describe it in one word, I would say professional. The presentation, writing, video work, and on-screen presence is top-notch. The channel is really engaging to watch and serves up a smorgasbord of variety. Sometimes it's hard to say why a channel doesn't catch traction, but videos like his Wonder Boy series shouldn't be sitting with such low views. He does stream, and every other creator I know that started to stream on their main channel has since stopped as it impacts the channel's growth negatively in addition to YouTube further restricting recommendations to their new non-streaming videos. I really don't know anyone I'm recommending in this video outside of some casual comment section discussions, so I hope mentioning some of these things may help them or help you. Still, I would recommend doing what makes you happy first and foremost and not making changes based on my recommendations alone. Kevin does something really special when putting together scripted videos and you can't go wrong with any of them on his channel. So make sure you subscribe and give him your support. Creative Cat Productions, current sub count 841. Without a doubt in my mind, this is one of the most creative channels out there. Videos cover a wide range from reviews to full on documentaries. This appears to be a family affair too, making it the only instance I'm aware of where the production is shared in-house and with the kids. The videos are all top-notch, and as someone who invests an incredible amount of time working on large projects, I guarantee this family isn't slacking. The writing is clever, as is the on-screen visuals, which contain a ton of Easter eggs in addition to original art assets. I find myself smiling a ton as I watch this channel. It's like something I envision my brother and I making in the 90s, but this family, they have the skills to back it up. Show Me Retro, current sub count 878. Pat's show is a bit hard for me to describe because he really covers a ton of ground. Reviews, tips, discussions, DIY projects, and coverage of fraction-sized arcade machines. Maybe it's safe to say it's a very traditional YouTube show in the sense of what you expected 10 years back. The thing is, there's not a ton of people doing this kind of show today, and even fewer have a presence on screen that speaks to me. Pat is kind of in his own space here. I'm not really interested in arcade one-up machines, but I've watched all of Pat's videos on them. I'm not really interested in a ton of what Pat covers, but that's what makes his videos so great. I just find myself watching everything he releases because I enjoy hearing him discuss things that are loosely connected to my general gaming interest yet so far outside of my wheelhouse that I know nothing about them. I remember Retro Mikey 78 recommending Pat when he uploaded his first video, and I've been watching him ever since. It may not be for everyone, but I guarantee if it sounds even somewhat interesting, you'll be a massive Pat fan overnight. Sorax Spaces, current sub count 939. I wanted to talk about Sorax Spaces last year, but he stopped uploading. In two years, he has two videos. However, the newest one is very recent, so I hope a little boost in subs may encourage him to continue on. This is a comedy review show, and I find it quite funny. Oh, it's also more PG or light PG-13 than G, so keep that in mind if you have sensitive family members or ears. So yeah, Sorax reviews a game, does a ton of skits, and cracks a ton of jokes. Clearly, a channel that's focused on comedy and retro games is going to be extremely niche and subjective to taste. But for me, I really enjoy what's going on here. It kind of reminds me of hanging out with a group of friends while cracking jokes and talking about a game. But Sorax is the friend and he's cracking all the jokes. 
quite a good time. If you're still not convinced, just remember, this is the guy who purchased the original PlayStation 4. Okay, what game would you guess? No, you've got it wrong. The correct answer was Bubsy 3D. Go give him a visit and let him know we want more videos. If you're jumping in for the first time, I would recommend watching his newest release. I swear I laughed out loud numerous times, but there's no guarantee that you were given a sense of humor. The Afro Show, current sub count, 1,130. I think that the first thing you need to know is that my man reviewed one of my favorite Saturn games, Darkstalkers 3, and did a dang good job too. I mean, I love this game so much I've bought multiple copies, sending them to friends on occasion. Just go ask Sika, and while you're there, ask when that Darkstalkers 3 review is coming. I mean, I've been waiting for like four years now, but I'm not willing to put it in Half-Life 3 territory just yet. <laughs> All kidding aside, the Afro Show is primarily a review series covering what I would call mid-era retro games and hardware. That's essentially from the Sega Saturn Ford one generation. I think there's a couple good marks of a review channel. One is when you are only listening, but become engaged enough to stop whatever you're doing and give it your full attention. I'll often toss on random videos in the background, looking for something fresh. And the Afro Show just happened to strike a chord with me, so I hit subscribe and have continued to watch ever since. The videos are detailed, quite enjoyable, and always worth my time. All of his videos are great, so pick one that strikes a chord with you and start there. A critical hit. Current sub count 1,470. Critical Kate may have some of the best videos on YouTube released in the last year. There's only one issue. There's just a handful and they're slow to release. Clearly, it's due to the incredibly high quality of research and production that goes into every minute. It's also one of the few channels that feels familiar in the sense I feel that I can relate. I think a ton of great documentary style channels are first and foremost trying to tell a story. An example would be wanting to tell the story of Castlevania. You kind of know where to start and what direction you'll be going. Contact people involved, look up existing interviews, and start verifying sources. Hopefully, you get some fresh info so it's not a regurgitation of existing coverage. And if you're good at writing and presenting, you can tell a compelling story that holds the audience's attention. Channels like Gaming Historian and Wrestling with Gaming excel here and are clearly at the top. On the other hand, you have people trying to answer a question, often resulting in video topics. Sometimes this leads to a documentary style video, other times it's a dead end. My video on Senna was the answer to my question, why was a Brazilian race car driver one of the most beloved people in the history of Japan? My video on the history of analog controllers was me running down a rabbit hole of questions on controller origins and not finding easy answers. My video did Privacy Kill the Dreamcast was the answer to that very question. I'm not alone in this. Historic Nerd tends to follow this logic and even put out an excellent video about why videos sometimes die. I'll link that below. So back to Kate. The style of work and approach she takes is bar none my favorite kind of video. It's what I prefer and quite frankly, there's just a handful of channels like this in the retro gaming space. Doing what Kate does is time consuming and hard work. It's also a format that YouTube currently dislikes and will suppress due to the lack of regular uploads. So please stop by and give her some support. I swear you'll love what she does or receive a full refund. Mystery Channel, current sub count? I can't yet reveal. Do you love gaming documentaries? How about gaming documentaries from underrepresented countries? If so, do I have a treat for you. His name is Tika, and he loves to talk about Paprium. Just check out his Paprium review. Paprium three-part documentary. Paprium collaboration with Slopes Game Room. His interview with Paprium's creator Fonzie. And complete Paprium toy collection. If you love Paprium, this Paprium channel is for you. It's all things Paprium all the time. Hold up. <laughs> Wrong channel. He's over 10K. The final channel is Russian Video Comrade, current sub count 1,710. I actually found him because my good friend Stika recommended that I check it out. Russian Video Game Comrade isn't just the best documentary show focused on Russian gaming, 
He's straight up one of the channels I most look forward to watching. I feel we are beyond blessed to have access to a platform where we can learn about gaming in various cultures, but oftentimes the language barriers, poor production values, and shoddy research makes these videos unpalatable. Don't worry, we have plenty of North American and UK based channels that are just as bad. Every once in a while though, someone pops up and changes the game for a particular region. For Russia, this is the channel. The videos are well scripted, clever, funny, and well put together. I fully expect them to blow up in the near future and implore you to check them out ASAP to support the habit. Massive thanks to everyone who has supported this channel and for supporting the people listed here. I have links to their channels in the description, so make sure you check them out. Also, I want to mention that my DMs are always open on Twitter, and if you have a small channel and would like someone to chat with about it, feel free to send me a message. I know for many it's not always easy to connect, and for me personally, having friends to talk with who are also in the YouTube virtual gaming space has been invaluable. That's it for now, and as always, thank you for watching Retro Impressions.